Hey everybody, Todd from Juno Bait coming at you with uh, Catch 365. It's not a tip, it's a top water idea, tactic, not a, it doesn't really have a name per se. So I was going through some stuff and I found in my bag um, this Savage Gear Fro. Half dog, half dog, half dog, half, half frog, half duck. Cool lure, looks good in the water. And you know, I bought this thinking, oh, half frog, half duck, a bass is going to see this and think it's absolutely delicious. I've got to eat that. And if you really think that, then I also have some oceanfront property in Arizona that you get a hold of me. I'll, I'll talk to you. We, I got a good price on it. They don't think it's a half of a frog, half of a duck. A bass sees this clicking over its head and they think, oh, I can get my mouth around that. I'm going to take a swipe at it. Snook, tarpon, jacks, anything saltwater wise, redfish, trout, is the same thing when you're throwing topwater lures. It's simply a matter of, oh, there's something above me. I want to eat it. I'm going to take a chance at it. If it's the right size, if it has the right shape and the right movement, they're going after it. The most important factor is that, you know, making sure it's the right size of what they're eating, get a good presentation on it. Pay attention to the belly color on there because that's the one thing that they will see. And it's not even so much that they're picking out an exact color, but you need it to match the color of the water and the sky. At night, darker colors are going to be better, lighter colors during the day. You'll notice most top waters are that. They're either a dark belly or a light belly for that reason. So don't get too hung up on the top side of top waters is what this all boils down to. It doesn't really matter. As always, thanks for watching.